What's up guys, welcome back. So today we got a Spider-Man No Way Home character. We got Doc Ock, right? So he's hard to fit on my page. So just to make him fit in, and like I wanted one of his um, tentacles, but there's two really. One of them goes that way off the page, but I wanted to fit one of the, like a full one, just on over his shoulder. So I've moved his head over to the right hand side, right? I'm in the landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser for these. Always sketch it out lightly first. You can do your ink on top afterwards. That's what I recommend, right? So head over here. And he's got those oval kind of glasses on. And that's what we're gonna start with, okay? So along this sort of, so the center point of my page is here. We're gonna come over, right? And put his face here. I'm gonna start with his glasses, right? I think it's the easiest place to start. So I'm gonna curve over like that, right? And then this is a double. Curves over again, right? So now we're gonna go around. So it's always tricky to do sort of this round sort of stuff. But it's, it's, it's an oval sort of Harry Potter style glasses, right? So we go around like so, and down the other way. Not perfect circles, more ovalish. Like that. Let me do kind of the same thing on the other side, trying to get them as even as we can. Up to there, roughly. Not bad. Right. So then inside here we've got to do the frame. So we go around again. Okay. You just slowly sort of take your time and go around the edge. Okay, so his glasses are just black. You can't see his eyes under there. So what we'll do is we'll just leave sort of two sort of little highlights on top, okay? Sort of things here. And then we'll color in everything black when we get to it, or like navy dark, right? So they're just the highlights that you leave white, okay? <clears throat> so along the top of the glasses, we have an extra section to his rim. Okay, so it goes just across there like that and then another line underneath like so so what we can see then are his eyebrows and things so let's see going up this way right spiking down we have an eyebrow here so it spikes back up goes back down underneath here and he's got these frowning frown lines just underneath so it goes down that way and another one in here you can do as many of these now as you want so as many wrinkles i mean across his nose you know this kind of stuff the other eyebrow comes out sort of in a similar way And he does have these sort of sort of eyelid lines coming out here with some wrinkles. Like so. So his nose, just lines for his nose coming down in here. And then his nostrils on the side. Curve out around 
like this and then they come down to a point in the middle curve around here like so and you can maybe add some inside lines for the nostrils just there and that's pretty much his nose right so his mouth so we got top lip and bottom lip and his mouth semi open right you can see like two sort of teeth sections inside but what we'll do is we'll give him like a what do we do i might close his mouth we'll see we we'll go across down back up back down to there okay and then his bottom lip underneath So, and then like a top lip sort of area here. And maybe like one of those lines on his top lip. He's got a chin line, just like a shadow on his chin just there. Do, do, like some hair on the end of his eyebrow, I think. Right, and then his chin. Big, strong chin on this guy. So, so top of his glasses there, say, say our eyebrow will go. Eyebrow to nose is about the same as bottom of his nose to his chin. See the tip of his nose to his chin is halfway between say top of his glasses or the eyebrows to his nose. So that's half, that's your halfway point between here and here, right? Roughly, it doesn't have to be exact. But that's what we're going for, okay? So then his jaw. We'll go out, out like so. He's got a big round sort of jaw goes up, up here. And then his cheekbones, he has cheekbones. So they come in here. And like this, same on this side. And then he's got these lines on the side of his mouth like so real severe sort of features on his face and this goes up like so Otto Octavius right so from his glasses like he has those things on the side of his glasses that go behind his ears right so that hold his glasses on basically so we draw those coming out and up so it goes under his hair right and around <clears throat> underneath his sideburns and then are like around his ears but we can't we can't see that part because it's it's hidden So like sideburn will be like here and then he starts to have hair kind of sticking out this way right same thing sort of over here hair coming out like so all right let me see so this is like his sideburn And then you can see some of his ears sticking out here. Like so, same on this side, kind of. And then bones and ligaments and things inside. Like that. And then we have hair spikes and a fringe coming all the way across, right? So, like these kind of hair lines. coming across his fringe spiking 
fringe coming down onto his forehead. That kind of thing. And then we have some wrinkles, I think. So we've got like some frown lines coming across here. And then some bumps coming across his forehead, just these light kind of forehead wrinkle lines, like so. And then we'll just finish the hair here. And then it starts to come around like this. Kind of sticks out from behind his ears a little bit. starts to go around the back of his head. This kind of thing. And then up here. He's a part in the middle of his head, somewhere here, like sort of like. It's around. Like so. Much texture now as you want on his hair. Just leave it like that. Okay, so he's he's got a polo neck on and then two jackets, right? He's cold. So um, two jackets on. Uh, right, so <clears throat> his body's so head is straight, right? And then the picture I'm drawing from, we're in three quarter. So we can see this shoulder turned away from us, and this shoulder is much bigger closer to us, right? So like the center line for his body just underneath his chin, but the shoulder turned away. So what we'll do is pull the neck first. So it comes around his neck here. It comes down that way. And then the inside line for it here. And around goes underneath his chin. underneath his chin there. These kind of fold lines. Like so, and then another couple of fold lines just coming across here. Right, and then his jacket, so two jackets, right? So, say the first one. There, and then, so like, come down this way. And down, this is a leather one. So this one sticks out like so. And then the inside of that one goes down there. And then his shoulder comes off and down that way. Like shoulder line there. And then like another sort of fold line here. And then the collar of this just goes underneath his jacket, has an edge to it there, and a tied line there. And then we got like a zipper just coming out here. So it'll have like just these ends on them there, and like another 
there's a full one line or something. There, right? So that's one shoulder. So the other <coughs> jacket sort of area comes out this way. Down like so. Comes in. Down, right? And then this comes down like that. And then the zipper is on the inside of this. And this line goes off that way. Right, so when we're in three quarter, right, this shoulder is half the size of this one. We can only see three quarters of his body. So what I mean is you go one, two, three, and like his, that's where like his shoulder would be, out here. So look at this, the, this is twice the size of this. Once, twice, three quarters. So we're missing a quarter. One, two, three. Okay, so we have a real big shoulder out here. Because this shoulder is closer to us than this one. So we got some perspective going on here. This is his big collar now, sticking out like so. And then this one comes around. And down, it's the lapel, you know, on jackets that they have. And then this has an edge to it. Like so. And yeah, and the inside of that collar kind of comes down this way. You can see sort of the back of the leather jacket there. It'll disappear kind of up into here. And then the rest of his shoulder comes down this way, right? So real big now. Like that. And then the seam of his jacket goes down there. And then we have a fold line. Fold line there. Fold line going down that way. And be there. Okay, so tentacles and things, right? Mm, yeah, I'll just we'll just tidy up some of these hairlines. Hair here. Okay, so we got like one arm going this way, and then we can see a full one over his shoulder here. That's why I moved his head over to the side, okay? So they're incredibly mechanical and complicated in real life, right? But we'll just make it a little simpler, right? So we're just going to do this bumpy kind of line. about there and one of the claws comes in just on top of my page here and then we go down the other side right and then these lines will come across so just this kind of tube sort of thing if you want, you can give him an edge. Just add a bit more detail. And an edge on the inside of this. There's all these mechanical sort of sections inside. Right, like that so the other one then up here right and this is like a big full one so let's go so we'll just we'll just do it smooth at first right we'll just carve our main shape to 
to about there and then the other side. Down like so, right? And this one actually will, we can see the side of it. So it has a line that goes down the center. So we'll kind of, it's kind of like a snake, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So then his mouth starts here, right? So we've got these three spikes. Maybe go over his shoulder one. Goes there. Right, and then this goes in a little bit. Cross. This one goes in, down. And then we go up. And then we meet the other one here. Which up like so. Around. Okay, so adding a bit more detail to these, these sort of angled lines, right? There's got he's got that circular eye inside here. Right, and then this comes across. Down, up. This goes up, down, to there. And then this goes. Fast somewhere, and then it goes around back down. Okay, so we've got the circles in the center, right? So it's kind of like a bullseye thing, right? So we've got like a real small one. Oops. Another one coming around that one. Then another one again. Then another one coming around that one. And it's like red on the inside too. And if you have a compass or something that would help you do perfect circles, feel free. I don't. <laughs> Right, so coming out from here, we have all these apparatus and lines and things, right? So going towards the start of each tongues, we've got these coming out from the center, okay? So it's quite complicated now. Three kind of so we got like an edge that goes the whole way up, right? So we go like this, and then bring it back around and down, right? And we'll do that on each one basically. So we'll go. as well that and then around there so then there's all these all this stuff inside here right so You're just kind of going to break it up. So all these kind of sections. So you'll have you'll have like a pipe where it can bend, say here, with an edge and another one here. You know, because it has these three tongues on it, and then. 
this has extra connectors to it like here. And some lines going across that way, right? And some more. So you basically want to divide it up into three sort of boxes and then add your connectors to it. like schematics to draw this stuff like totally accurate it's not easy you know like some more coming up that way right and we'll do sort of the same thing on each one so like each of these has like a little pipe coming across one and then another one say at the top Right there, and then on this one, it's more like here. So these are like the hinges that help it sort of move, basically. Right, and then, then you just add your connector lines, right? So I know I'm making it sound much easier than it is, but. This is basically what we got so far. And I'm leaving out a lot. So, just so you know, I'm trying to make it as easy as I can. So there to there, and then like another connector. And some more sort of connector lines here. And up to the middle. Right, and then there's some lines around the edges here. So, um, something else there, inside here as well. Right, I think that's the best I can do. That's as easy as I can make it anyway. So then, we got like where it starts here, right? So then all these lines then, so you bend around this. basically. Now you could make this way more complicated if you wanted because it is way more complicated but I'm just doing the basic octopus arm right this has all connectors and things all inside like gaps and everything all inside there that that would take an age we'll just we'll just bump the sides of them with just a bit of a thicker line Okay, maybe a shadow here. Um, right, of course, maybe I'll just thicken up this as well. 
some of this hair. Thickening up the edge lines does help. See, like that kind of thing. I don't know, it, it, it kind of just, it makes your texture lines lighter, you know, and when someone looks at the image, it just makes certain things stand out. You know? So it can help doing these. Sort of darker lines. Just adding some thickness to his hairlines. Maybe to the bottom of the nose. Give it a bit of a shadow. Hmm. Okay. But I think I'll have to leave it there because I could keep going for ages. Okay, stop. I gotta go get my lunch. Stop drawing. Always helpful. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.